Okay, so before we get into the schematic diagrams and uh, tracing through the different cycles of freeze and defrost, you need to understand a little bit more about the defrost termination and fan delay relay. What this sensor does is senses the coil temperature when it's in, in defrost. And once the coil temperature gets to a point where uh, the ice is melted and the temperature hits a certain point, it will terminate the defrost and, and, and kick it back into the freeze cycle. And the other thing that it does is once the uh, coil gets defrosted, it's rather warm. So it delays the fans coming back on until the coil temperature drops down so that when the fans come on, we're blowing uh, cold air into the box rather than uh, blowing the warm air off of that freshly defrosted coil. So it's pretty interesting how it works and it's pretty simple actually. Um, the one thing to note is that the defrost termination and the fan delay is controlled by break, making and breaking the neutral wire to um, the defrost termination and to the fans. So the red wire is the neutral from the uh, power connection on the front of the defrost timer. And when the temperature is above 55 degrees, the connection is made between the red and the brown wire. So we supply a neutral to the defrost termination on the um, defrost timer and it will kick the system out of defrost. The one is below 25 degrees, uh, brown is open and then the connection is made between the neutral and the black which is the neutral to the fans in, in the uh, freezer. So this will kick the fans back on in the freezer once, once this senses that the coil temperature is below 25 degrees. Now if you remember on walk-in coolers the fans remain on all the time but in a walk-in freezer the, fan, the fans stop because we're raising that, uh, that coil temperature uh, in this instance above 55 degrees and we don't want to be blowing 55 degree air back into a minus 10 degree box and then have to cool that box back down. So this is clamps onto the U-bend and the defrost uh, termination and fan delay makes and breaks and in this instance above 50 and below above 55 and below 25 degrees. Between 25 degrees and 55 degrees neither of these connections are made. So the uh, defrost termination has no neutral nor do the fans so there is a dead zone in between the um, make and break temperatures. It's a pretty simple device. Uh, the only thing that ends up happening with the, these is it, it'll get stuck in one position or the other and, it'll, and will have to be replaced. It has a, a um, bimetal, bimetal disc here and a bimetal disc will change its shape based on temperature and then it's got a little push pin and it pushes pushes down at, or moves up and down depending on the temperatures and these are just the contacts that are, are connected here so the fan contacts are right here connected to the black wire here's the common wire here and here are, here are the defrost termination contacts pretty simple um, we'll talk about the way to check those here a little bit later on when we, we get into the troubleshooting videos